What's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all day, and you never close your eyes anymore when I show these knives. All right, all right, all right. Let's turn that down. Here it comes. Power on. Oh, thank you. That chick, we've been dating now for about a week. All right, so today we are bringing you, as it says in the description, an extreme ops folder from Smith & Wesson. This is one of your very basic EDC knives. And the reason we're doing this one instead of a big chopper that I have sitting waiting to go is because it is freezing outside and sissy in the cold. We all know that. All right, so we are looking at the Smith & Wesson um, CK08TBS. Um, not bad. It's a. It's got a sweet little spear point on it. Um, it's got these three decorative uh, holes. I'm assuming it's just decoration. It can't be for weight because it's it's a small EDC. Uh, you're looking at like a three and three quarter inch blade behind the lug, um, four and three quarter overall, and I think it's like eight and a half open. I mean, uh, oh, four and three quarter closed, and I think eight and a half overall. <coughs> oh, it is made by Taylor Cutlery. I don't know if you're going to be able to get that in there, but there, there you go. Taylor Cutlery is who produces it. It's a Smith & Wesson knife um, put together by Taylor Cutlery. Remember, just because it says Smith & Wesson doesn't mean it's made by Smith & Wesson in Springfield, Massachusetts. No. <coughs> they, um, they partner out. Let's go over this guy right here and see, because I've done some Smith & Wesson knives before, and I've had pretty good success with some of these little guys, and they are cheap. Um... I'm trying to think I got this little computer going on right here and I don't know I'll find one uh, any kind of extreme ops Smith & Wesson I'll find the first one I can find uh, oh, let's see if I can get into it um, okay here's one on eBay it is I think the same thing as this except a Tonto tip yeah it's pretty close it's uh, almost the same thing but it's twelve dollars seventy four cents all right so you're looking at a Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops EDC, and they have different Extreme Ops is like the style or whatever, and then they, they break it down. They have a whole bunch of different knives for Extreme Ops. Let's get you guys a little closer. Let's do that so you can get a really good peek at this guy. Um, as far as the knife itself goes, it's not an ugly knife. Um, it does have a half serrade, which I am you know not a fan of, truly. They do make for great feather sticking, though. Um, I will give it that. But you can see how very, very deeply cut in these serrations are look at how far they go up from this point i mean it's like it's almost like a like a hunter style knife which i'm no fan of but is what it is the money on these is dirt cheap you do have a strap hole here you do have um these little lines here are just for added grip uh, they put them on both sides um even though your pocket clip is stationary they put them on this side which Honestly, unless you're taking off the pocket clip, doesn't make any sense to have because the pocket clip covers it pretty much. Um, I guess you could put your fingers on there, but it's really, it's not going to add enough grip to where it's really going to change your mind on how it feels in the hand. Um, all the grip you need is going to be in the jimping that they playfully line all around this thing, and they do a good job on it. The um, liner lock is jimped the same as everything else. Um, so it's kind of uniform. It's good. It's got a nice shape to the rear. Uh, you do have a choil here. Obviously, they're going to put a choil where you have a liner lock. And on both sides, which I do appreciate being a lefty, they do have the finger cutouts, the little grooves, which makes it more comfortable. Um, the, it, you have uh, double thumb studs and a blade that's not bad looking. It's 440 steel and... Uh, as anyone knows with 440 easy to sharpen and they last forever 440 lasts forever what might not last forever is the mechanics you know what I mean you might get some damage in here but we're gonna find out if it damages easily or not and we're not gonna be going outside so luckily I have some firewood inside that we can play around with a little cardboard box and the D bad little big man um, so uh, let's get going on this right away I can tell you that just moving this, watch this. The uh, the clip, the pocket clip, it's a deep pocket clip. 
it does move a little bit, but it does have good tension, so it's not that bad. It's not a horrible, horrible example of a, um, a pocket knife, but it's not the best example. I mean, in my pocket right now, I don't have anything because I just came back from the gym and I wore the other ones. Um, and the dogs are going crazy because Asia just came in. So, that's it. Uh, let's, uh, let's get to playtime. All right, so we were playing with some fire making it happen there was a dog in your way let's uh let's take a let's take a look at this blade here i'm gonna do a um downward cut and drag the blade is palm side and i'm relying on this choil to be catching in my hand enough to um to keep me from sliding onto the blade and no problem now this is thick that's thick stuff right half inches of a uh, half inch of of good cardboard and uh down and pull not so bad uh you can see the serrations are picking up pieces because it's serrated so <clears throat> man i am all over the place i'm all over the place let's do a um let's do a quick a quick tag here and we will see that Right here, there you go. All the way along the blade cuts. Let's try and go into the hard corner. We'll do a downward slash. And the downward slash worked out really freaking well. Um, the knives do come sharp out of the box. I don't know how sharp, but sharp enough to cut, but not, I guess it's knocking some hairs off, but even though it's knocking hairs off, I'm not going to consider it shave sharp because the hairs didn't come off until like the 30 second drag right there. So I'm going to say that they're sharp and they work and it does what it's supposed to as far as this is an EDC. So it's made for cutting, right? It's made to, uh, to do that kind of thing, but it's not made for serious hardcore work um or throwing but uh, you know i am who i am so i have to uh you know, i have to chuck it just to see how it's gonna go um let's see i already listen hold on i already have a loosening in the blade which means this tensioner right here needs to be retensioned look at the um the stop pin right there uh it's small it's some ball all right so Let's do this. Let's let's do this. We got this nice uh, sappy wood here. What we're gonna do is we're going to try and baton through it a little bit. And I'm a lefty, so I'm gonna spin it around. All right, and let's see if this thing damages or holds up or does what. Not so bad so far. It already took off a piece, but then it got stuck. Hit the fat part. All right, so can I use it for batoning? Absolutely, freaking lutely it's a knife. You can use pretty much any knife for batoning. What matters is, you know, how long you want your knife to last you, because as you know, batoning on a lock, uh, lock back can really screw you up in here. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Now I told you that um, serrations are good for feather sticking. These serrations happen to be really good serrations and they are just digging into this wood. And you can see that. Uh oh, hold on guys, hold on guys. Don't you hate spam calls when you're in the middle of a knife review? Hi, I'm Carly. I'm with a homeowners association. I'd like to talk to you about the possible dangers in your home. Can you hear me okay? And then I say no and hang up. I heard her okay. I was lying to her. All right, so you can see that feathering with a knife like this is going to be pretty easy. I mean, pretty, pretty darn easy. Now I gotta pick them all up. Um, but uh, it just goes to show that 
even a $15 knife in the matter and case of an emergency, a $15 knife will help you out in the woods, but this is not the knife you want to be bringing around you if that's where you're headed. If you're headed into the woods and you need some ultimate survival, um, don't bring this guy. Bring this guy to the birthday party for your 12 year old's first knife, right? And say, hey, here you go. Don't kill yourself because it is pretty sharp. But this is what it's for. It's, you know, for a woman's purse. It's for some guy out there who uses it. Maybe you work in a factory and you need to open boxes. Um, we're not going to, we're not going to bull you out and try to pretend it's something it's not. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that it's some great knife that you can use for every occasion for knife making. I'll tell you what, it works. It's a knife. Every knife is going to, is going to have a purpose. And this one does. This one does. This one is good for opening boxes, good for cutting up mail. If I need to uh, cut some string or whatever, oh, I got a string on my thing, I can cut it. It's one of those typical everyday carries for the person who uh, EDCs, you know, easy work. And that's pretty much what it is. It's a good thing for a woman to keep in a purse. Really good because it's still going to defend you against an attacker. This thing is going to upgut somebody real quick. You're going to be able to take off a couple of chin hairs if, if you get attacked. And, um, and I think that's pretty much what they design these for is more of a self-defense tactical um, EDC rather than an EDC that is uh, something that you're going to be using and abusing like my heart. Um, so that's what you have. And I didn't go over the material here because I wasn't really sure what it was, but I'm thinking it's plastic. You can see the steel frame. It's very thin, but you can see the frame. And then these I don't think it's it's not any kind of G10. It looks just like a um, just a molded plastic or whatever. But I mean, it does the job. There, there's no failures there. Um, it is what it is, guys. You're looking at picking up a uh, a knife that you can put in your pocket that's going to cut from day one to day 100, um, and just be a cutter. Then there you go. For and you want to spend less than 20 bucks, find yourself a uh, go to eBay and look up Smith and Wesson Extreme Ops. And uh, they will pop up, you know, so you'll, you'll find something. Uh, cheap? Yes. Cheaply made? Yes. Cheap materials? Yes. But is it going to cut? Yeah, it's going to cut. Just remember, this is not your survival knife unless you're talking about survival in the subway. So, that's it. Smith & Wesson. Extreme. Oh, let's start that again. Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops Folding Knife. Not, not such a bad looker. Not a bad looker. It'll get the job done. Hi, I am Donnie B. All Day. Until next time.